Hello everybody, QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and we are back today with another episode of Hustle Castle. So, today is going to be the day we talk about the set workshop. Before we do that though, I am close to being able to start upgrading another item. I have three workers, I got two going, I got to upgrade my kitchen and my archive, and you know those workers have been sitting there inactive for a very long time so it's nice to be up here at tier 11 allowing them to be able to do something i'm trying to keep my resources low because basically people are constantly stealing from each other in order to get the uh the resources to upgrade so and myself including i've been the exact same thing so i try to whenever i get the opportunity to upgrade i do and i did that earlier with uh Jerry here. They upgraded his weapon. Um, I don't have. I don't have anything. I don't have a soul added, but I didn't want to leave 150k of mithril sitting out there. So I think we have f f four left. Let me see. Talking about the ones I have left to upgrade. So we got one there for Jerry. We have one for Anthony, and I think two. No, one for Evan. So we're down to three of our full-time six fighters upgrade and then obviously we got the other six who are not being used at the moment that I will also start upgrade, upgrading and as we'll see in a minute we need the mithril for something else once we start covering the set workshop we will cover that shortly but before we do that I want to get this up to six million and then go ahead and uh, start working on something else so I think I decided at the 6 million mark, I'm going to upgrade my vault because before when we were doing these 10 million, we hit 10 million and it was it. We were capped off. Obviously, there's things up here that cost a whole lot more. So I'm going to upgrade my, uh, my, where is it? My vault here. So we can start going up to the 15 million mark. So in order to do that, I need another 250K. So speaking of stealing and robbing, we need to find 250K right here. Uh, my last time I looked earlier, we had a, a recent downtime, and there's a, it was a preparing for new updates. So I'm guessing that means we're going to have updates coming out within the next, uh, I mean, obviously those are server updates. We'll be having some, you know, I don't know if it's client side upgrade coming as well. So that would be, what's today? Today's Thursday, so it's more Friday, so that would be next week. More than likely later in the week is usually when it happens, but... Obviously, with the last event, we had the upgrade happen on like Sunday evening, I think. So, anything's possible at this point. We don't have any uh, any indications of when these updates are coming, but obviously something's coming. And I don't have any 200k. So I went through two. Uh, well, there's one. Nope, that's not. He has no cash. That's weird. All right, so we're gonna do two small ones here. Then we we'll have to dump some trophies. So starting tomorrow, the uh, arena, not the arena, the portal's open again. This will be my first time doing the portal with being able to carry 900K in food. And I have to see what I want to do with that. Because as we're going to see shortly with the set workshop, legendary items are highly, highly in demand and very crucial. And the set workshop, if you're not going to spend money, is going to be a very, very slow grind. So getting any legendaries is going to be helpful. Amongst other things, you know, the uh, I've said before, we got to get six months, 84k more. Um, I've said before that, you know, when some of the some of the events that go on, I really enjoy when it forces you to play all aspects of the game. And that's true. I, I certainly do um, enjoy that. And with the set workshop, that is something that is forcing you to play all aspects of the game. We're going to cover that soon. And for those who have been following for a while, I realize that one of my downfalls is my hero. My hero is very weak and I haven't spent any time on it and I avoid it a lot because it takes a lot of time. Oh, I lost, wasn't paying attention. Whoops, darn it. All right, well, we'll come back and do this later. Um, you know what, scratch that. Let's go ahead and open up a couple chests. We got so much, so many resources here. We're gonna open up some of these over the weekend because um, a lot of these are giving us food and I don't wanna waste that food. I wanna use that food for something like applying to the portal. So I'm not gonna, I'm not going to do any food-related ones, but we'll do that over the weekend. Uh, I need to find something that is only money. No food. I think I might have used all those. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I did. All right, maybe we won't open a chest. But we're, I need to get through them. I have almost 1,500 chests. There's a lot of stuff here. And one of the things I need to get is 
mithril equipment to allow myself to start uh, earning more. I, I saw a post on, where was it, on Reddit, I think, where people were saying post, you know, how much mithril you're making per hour. And the highest I saw was like 850, 870, something like that, not very high. I finally got my stuff up to 708, and that was, I made a mistake. I ended up uh, leveling up my... Uh, my archive here and I had two guys that were like two hours away from getting up to the next level so I wasted about 16 hours of training that was quite silly but it is what it is and with that though it got me up to the 708 mark and you know the people are just not earning a lot of mithril so you, if you want it you got to steal it that's pretty much the way it's going and that's what I've been doing that's how I've gotten so many uh, so many of my items open to be able to start adding souls and uh, um, yeah, we'll, we'll come up with something to get that 83k before this video is over. But, you know, the whole point of this video was to cover the set workshop. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, unfortunately, I forgot to start the clock. I mean, the goal of the videos these days, I'm trying to keep everything down to about 15 minutes. And I forgot to start the clock. And I don't know where we're at. So hopefully this gets to stay somewhere around the uh, the 15 minute mark. So, so this is the set workshop here. We got some pretty cool equipment sitting there in the back. And, you know, reading reading the blurbs they've given us before this was even implemented, they're going to give us the ability to be very strong. So that is relevant. These are people I just have in there at the moment. So this is the set workshop. This allows you to build things that work together. It allows you to get to the next level instead of um, the uh, orange items. You're getting the red ones, which are called... Are, I'm completely drawing a blank at the moment. Oh my goodness. You guys know what it is, but I am drawing a complete blank on what it's called. Anyway, it allows you to get your your equipment up to the next level, which is intense, basically. You're the top level, you're making the most, you're doing the most, You're it's, it's the way to go. And then once you start getting items together, then you're really doing some top level stuff. So... Let's go ahead and start with the one I was going to start with first. So I'm going to, we'll, we'll cover one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? So we have eleven different sets that we can go through. I was going to, of course, start with one of the archers, the ranger set, because that's the one that's doing the most damage for me. So what you can do, you obviously, you got your armor, you got your, you got your weapon. Oh man, sorry about that. Let's get back in there. Go to the archer. Archer. So we got our armor, we got our weapon, we got the armor soul, we got our weapon soul, we got a ring, and then we got our um, amulet. All of these can start being combined together, which is going to give you more power. One, leveling them up to the next level is going to get... Keep doing the same thing. It's going to get you... Come on, there we go. Let's just start right here. So this is going to make you stronger just by leveling this up to the next ancient, ancient weapon, not legendary. So once you get up to ancient, you're immediately going to be stronger. Somewhere it tells me, um, select the attributes, I'm not seeing at the moment. So anyway, back to my points earlier where you need mithril. So let's go back. We need 600 mithril if you want to, you know, upgrade somebody from a legendary to a ancient. 600k. I mean, that's, they gave us 600k free earlier, or not earlier, but during the last event, there was a 600k chest, so I have that. So I can go ahead and upgrade one of my items to Ancient without tons of effort, but every single one you want to upgrade are going to cost 600k. So 600k, and there were, oops, wrong button again, one, two, three, five, six. So for one person, there's going to be six. You need 3.6 million Mithril to get a full set, so the full Ranger set is going to cost 3.6 Mithril. That's, you know, that seems like a lot, but that's that's only a small small portion of what's needed. And the, let me let me take one quick time out to make sure we're recording here so we're not losing it. Okay, all good. So that, that was 600k to get one item leveled up. So we need a legendary item. That's not, you know, whatever. Just, I think any, any one that you want to take that you want to change the next level. So of course I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that one. I would take the one that I'm using. It doesn't matter for this for this example. So we'll just take this top one. 
So we're going to use that one. Fine, we're going to replace it. So that's the one we're going to make. We're going to change that one into a, a legendary or an ancient. So that's one legendary item we need. And one of the items you need is a legendary shard, an orange shard, whatever. So there's number two. So for one thing to go up, you need two legendary. So that's two shards or items or whatever. Okay. That's, you know, it seems like a lot, but that's actually fairly minor. The big one that I am stumbling on is right here. Your accuracy potion. This is the part that I mentioned earlier where everything gets tied together. So for the... You need different potions for different things. For the ranger set, you need 10 of these accuracy potions. As you see, I have none. So you need to get them and craft them. Apparently, you can go and open this chest, and which I have three of these, so maybe we have something sitting in the in our chest that might give us some of these. I haven't opened them yet. We'll do that, I don't know, maybe this weekend. We'll see. I have a feeling it's a, it's a percentage chance, so more than likely we'll get nothing. Um, so how else do you get it? Right here, you see on the side here, we got an accuracy potion required to craft a set. This tells you what you need to make one. So this is where you're doing all the grinding of all the different parts of the game, and it tells you where you need to go to get them. So right here, for winning battles in the arena, I've been, you know, been doing the arenas for a while, so I have enough to create 10 of those from doing the arena, which is great. We got here, we need purchase Dark Souls in a portal store. Um, obviously a guard to the portal every weekend, so that's fine, but right now we have enough to do four. This one, we need Jim Bay. We have an obscene amount. That's fine. And hey, look at there, another legendary. So that's three. So we need three legendary items to get one ancient. No, scratch that. We need two plus this is, all this is to make one of the, uh, what's this guy called? An essence. So this is to get one, so we're gonna need 10 of those. So we'll need 10, 10 legendaries here, plus the two, so that's 12 to get one ancient item. And that's playing all aspects of the game. So for me, and I, I bought this somewhere. I think it was during the last event I had, oh yeah, it was one of the chests. I got two, two souls, I believe, and the other option was to get 10 oranges. So I bought that one as well. So I got 13 now because of that. Obviously, I got a bunch of legendary items I can break down, but I'm not break, I'm not touching anything until I can figure out how I want to proceed with the with the sets because it's going to be a, a huge investment for anything. But as I mentioned, I think in the last couple of videos, or maybe more than that at this point, but I need to start working on my uh, hero. Multiple reasons. One, I'm extremely weak. There's plenty of people way stronger because they have their hero leveled way up, and I haven't touched mine. But also, when you fight your hero, you get these items, which you need to get the, the material here and to level up and all of that. So right now I have zero because I've done no dungeons. And this right here says for defeating bosses in the dungeon. And I have none. I, got, I need to get 45 of these guys before I can get one. And that I need to get 10 of those in order to level this guy up. So, obviously, I have a lot of grinding to go before I can even do my first possible item in my set. So, that's the whole first part of what you can do with the set. You need a lot of resources. So, this goes back to my earlier um, viewpoint. Let me, yeah, whatever. This goes back to my earlier viewpoint of grinding and getting as much material as possible. Um, I'm going to cover this in the, in the American Dad episodes as well, but... Um, there's been some some strategies about you know this game get you know get to like throne level six and grind like crazy get tons of you know your legendary items and then level 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 and you know be smart about it. Obviously, I didn't do that with this account, and I over the time I've still gotten a lot, but I am still fairly weak with all aspects of the game. Um, getting better, obviously, but still fairly weak. So if you follow all of those and get all those legendary items early when it's easy to get them, this part of the game will be easier for sure. And if you're slowly leveling and you're getting the dungeon, because I think if you start doing your dungeon at TR9, it's going to be easier. For me, I didn't start until 10, so it was a bit harder. And now I'm at 11. It seems like it's even harder still. Um, again, slightly mistake. If you grind properly at the earlier levels and get stronger, 
build as many resources as you can. Once you get up here, this kind of stuff is going to be a bit easier. But for me, at my level, it's, you know, since I'm fairly weak and I didn't properly level, this kind of stuff is going to be slower, which I'm okay with. It's fine. I, 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 I played the game the way I did earlier, and it was what it was. I didn't know what I know now, but I am okay with it. And we're going to do the grind. We're going to get our sets. And we're going to get stronger. So all of this stuff we covered is just to get one specific item to an ancient level. But the the real power, I think, with the with the ancients or with the uh, the set items are things grouping together. Okay, I do one more quick timeout. It looks like we're running a little bit long here, so I'm gonna try to try to cut this short. Um, so, like I said, all of that was to cover one ancient item. But the the big benefit, or one of the other big benefits, one you're gonna get a lot more power by having an ancient level item instead of a, a legendary. So you're more strong. You're a lot stronger because of that. But also, once you start getting multiple items, things get better. So if you see right here, you get bonuses for having more than one. So this first one is like the the mineral. So for two items, you have an attack bonus, or at least for the, excuse me, for the ranger set. You have an attack with a 25% chance to deal an additional 25% pure damage, ignoring armor and shields. I mean, that's huge. I don't know what the, how often, I guess that's 25% every time they strike. This guy strikes at normal, which is once per second, I believe. So basically once every four seconds, you're going to deal every 25% 20, pure damage. The enemy for four seconds. So... 25 for 4 seconds. So that's 100,000. No? 25,000 damage, ignoring armor shields and blind and blinding the enemy for 4 seconds. The blinded enemy has a 50% chance to miss. So that's huge too. So less damage coming your way. To deal an additional 25 pure damage, ignoring armor and shields and blinding the enemy for 4 seconds. Okay. So yeah, just 25 damage, but they'll be blinded for 4 seconds. That's fine. So that, that's the first two. So if you end up getting all six items, you're getting more, obviously. So then you get, once you get four items, you get 45,000 damage for four seconds. Blinded enemy is a 65% chance to miss. Plus, once in a while, fires a powerful shot at the most distant target. This shot deals 175,000. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so if you have all six items of this person, this uh, ranger, as it will be, fully maxed out ancient items, this is what you can get. You get on attack has a 30% chance of dealing a 75% pure damage. That's pretty huge. 30%, one out of every three shots, you're going to deal an extra 75,000 of damage. A blinded enemy has an 80% chance to miss, meaning they're going to miss four out of every five times. Once in a while, fires a powerful shot dealing 300,000 damage to the most distance. So they're going to be firing shots and hitting the archers in the back, getting extra 300k damage. And I wonder if you have this on your your uh um draw a blank again the guys that jump to the back row so if they're jumping to the back row are they going to be dealing three hundred thousand to the front row getting that on your tank in the front to knock them down maybe and stuns for four and a half seconds at the start of the battle throws two grenades at random enemies dealing 100 percent damage silence silencing them for nine seconds once in a while throws a smaller grenade dealing 45 percent silence for four and a half seconds so you get a full set and this is just for the ranger all of these items have huge benefits um this is obviously gonna take an extremely long time to get any of these items unless you're paying money i've already seen some of the top guys having some of the stuff and it's pretty <laughs> it's you know it's pretty incredible for me i've, I've fought i think a t you know multiple 10 million plus people and i think i've fought a 12 million and just in the arena battles I'm at 4 million, me battling 10 million, it's not even a contest, it's, it's ridiculous. So I can't really even tell, just because they have a set having these benefits, they're so strong that I don't know how much difference these type specific items are making. But when you're like battling an apple versus an apple and you're comparing people at 6 million versus 6 million or 10 million versus 10 million, whatever, these benefits are just absolutely enormous. Plus they're going to increase your power obviously as well, but I mean that's huge. This is absolutely huge. So I, I, I'm, I am excited about the set. You know, even though it's going to take absolutely forever to get to use any of it at my level, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be spending the money to get up there. But I know plenty, plenty of the the top whales are, and even people below that. But I'm not going to do it. But it's, I mean, it's, it's going to make people way stronger. So my power at three point, I'm not at my max. I was a little bit higher earlier. What am I at now? Three nine six. 396. I think my highest is 3973. And the only difference now, I have an insta kill on my uh, 
on this guy, and he's normally a restore. I'm trying to find a way to get my extra damage, or my, uh, the resurrection on a scepter, which I don't have a good scepter to use for my mage, but I'm trying to find a good one to use there, so I have less, so I can put an extra archer in the back, so I can deal more damage. That's kind of what I'm going for, but not there at the moment, so. Anyway, so that, that pretty much covers what the set workshop is. It's, it's massive, but for the normal player, it's going to take a long, slow grind. If you prop, quote unquote, properly leveled, properly upgraded, you're gonna have a lot of these resources, so this won't be quite as challenging for you. But for me, since I didn't, it's gonna be a little bit slower, but it gives me motivation to, one, play all aspects of the game, which, so I'm trying to figure out how to start doing dungeons. But two, it also gives you um, motivation to work to get even one of those items. I think it, I, I saw it somewhere. I didn't see it right now. But it's going to give you tons of extra benefit by, you know, upgrading something from a, is this where, oh, here? Somewhere I saw it. Um, but it tells you how much stronger you're going to get. Got to end this before my video ends up crashing since we've gone so long here. It's definitely over our 50 minutes. I'm trying to look at one more quick thing. Let's well, may, in the in the future episodes we'll go over some of these other ones as well. Um, but it's the same concept, obviously, for all of them. So if we go ahead and take this guy, so right now he's dealing. Do 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 do. It doesn't really tell us. There's it goes from A to B. You know what you're going from your legendary to ancient. But just looking at this guy alone, he's doing 58, 25 DPS. He's going to go up somewhere between 71 and 13,000. So somewhere between 50 percent and 150% increase in what he's going to be able to do. I mean, that's huge. And the range is absolutely huge, too, obviously. So doing one might be good, but you might have to do multiple to get the, the best, obviously. So, And when attacking 21% 20 chance of dealing 85% damage, it goes from 22 to 24 to 9 to 100. And when attacking, has a 30% chance of increasing on crit by 65. So 33 to 35 is going up, and 65 to 70 is going up, lasting for 10 seconds instead of well, felt 10. So obviously all this stuff is going way up. So anyway, this has gone on very long. I will end it here. I'm not going to do anything else because it's gone on so long, but that is the set workshop. It's going to be a grind, especially for the regular non... Free-to-play It's going to take absolutely forever. You know, If you're willing to pay a little bit, like some of my upgrades, they gave me an option to buy some stuff for a hundred bucks. Wasn't gonna do that. That's way too much money. I'm not gonna spend that much money on this game or or aspects of the game. Um, but you know, if you're free to play, it's gonna take a while. If you're mostly free to play, it's gonna take quite a while. If you're paying money, then you'll be able to get some of the stuff pretty quickly. So um, that's what it is. It's 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 gonna make you way stronger for sure. I don't know, you know, as far as overall um, number of your power, what it's gonna do because we'll see whenever we get there for the first time. But it, I'm excited to see where it's going to take me, and I'll, I'm going to start doing it and see where we go. It's probably going to be about, I don't know, two, three months before we get any movement on there, but one day we will do it. So, all right, that's it. This video has gone on forever. I'm going to end it here. We'll go ahead and jump into something else in the next video. Until then, this is QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I will talk to you soon. See you.